Everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Carol, who lives in this beautiful Ford van with a high top. And uh, you've been uh, full timing now for a little while. Yes, since uh, June of 2009. Do, wow, that's a long time. Yeah, and I enjoy it. But you enjoy it. It's, yeah. And, um, and your last stint was in a minivan. Mm -hmm. And that kind of came to an unfortunate end, didn't it? Well, it just depends on how you look at it. I think it was very fortunate because I ended up finding my new home, but it didn't start out that way. So tell us what happened. Well, on my 51st birthday last year, I decided to go for a cross country trip. Didn't work out that way. Uh, before I even got out of the gate, I blew almost all four tires in a week's time. I broke down in New Mexico, where I was stranded for almost two months. It and that's up... most people's biggest fear, is a breakdown on the road. And it was my biggest fear too, until I had the mind frame that I'm doing what I love, I'm still in my house, I'm safe, my house just isn't moving right now. So how did you get through that situation? Um, well, where I originally broke down is Al Albuquerque, and I had to be towed out of there because it was a little unsafe. There's some bad parts of Albuquerque. Yeah, well, I found spot. that out. I found yeah. that out. Um, I did the, you know, like we all say, follow your gut. If you don't feel safe there, move. And I didn't feel safe there at all, so I had, I was towed to the next town. And, and where did you go in the next town? Um, I called a Walmart ahead of time and I told the lady that I was broke down and I was in Albuquerque and I was going to be towed and could I have permission to stay there? And she told me, yeah. Wow. She gave me a big hug when I met her too, when I came in the store. Big hug. She's like, you're safe here. Whatever you need, you're fine. So I stayed there for uh, two weeks. I met a couple women out there, uh, Shannon and Donna. They stayed with me for two weeks. They even went with me when I was towed to the other town. Wow. Just to make sure I was safe. They, were, they weren't going to leave me. My experience has been that RVers, van dwellers are really good people. They really are. I really did learn a lot in the two months, you know. I felt a lot more security in myself, knowing that I, I'll be fine. I'm in my house. I'm fine. If your worst fear comes, happens, yeah. and it turns out to be no big deal, that's actually a pretty good feeling. Yeah. It was fantastic. To have that happen to me was one of the best things that could have happened to me. Right. It gave me a better sense of myself and gave me my new home. Right. <laughs> so while you were broke down in a minivan, you were mm -hmm. in a minivan, and uh, you started searching for your next vehicle, mm -hmm. rather, you, rather than put more money into your minivan, you're just going to replace it. Yeah, I, I wanted the uh, high top. I right. wanted more room. Right. You know, I was in there. I have a little dog. Shouldn't take up much room, but when you're tripping over each other in a minivan, right. it was just too much. So. Minivans are a lot better than any car, but still awfully small. Yeah. So how did you go about, you broke down in a Walmart parking lot in New Mexico. How did you uh, buy a new, a new, new to you high top van? Well, I scoured Craigslist and anytime I saw a van that I wanted to see in person, I had spoke to the people and told them I'm a single woman by myself and I didn't want to come to their house with cash. I wanted to go where I felt safe and where I felt safe was in the public parking lot of a Walmart, which happened to be where I was broke down. Right, <laughs> but they didn't need to know that. <laughs> no, they didn't need to know that at all. So I would set the appointment up for the next day. In the morning, I'd go to the gym that was in the parking lot right around the corner, you know, brush my teeth, get everything ready and walk out, see someone come up with a van. And got the van of your dreams, practically. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. Uh, and so it's a uh, uh, what? What is it? It's a Ford, obviously. Yeah, it's a 04 Ford E350 Super Duty. So it's extended. Yes. Long, long body. Yeah. Do you mind I, if I ask what you paid for it? I paid for this 24. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean it does need some work it did need some work we did a lot of work to it my aunt I should say my aunt did a lot of work to it and I'm learning 
It was either my ants were going to help me or I was going out into the desert to have somebody out there help me. <laughs> okay, so uh, is it okay if we take a look around and uh, see your new home? You've really done a nice job. You and your aunts have yeah, done a really aunt. nice job. Yeah, and, I, uh, I love it. It's coming together. Let's take a look. Okay. So we're over at the doors and it looks to me like at one time it had a lift on it. Yeah, it did. That's what the wires down here are. Uh, my aunt didn't want to get rid of those wires just in case somewhere in the future I wanted to put a lift in the, in there. Some kind of rotating step. So uh, my guess is it started life as an ambulance and then ended up as a ice cream and now a home. Yes. Right. That's and that's that's its most important job right now is it's a home. It is a home and it's a very nice home. And so uh, this is awfully tall. Uh, off the ground off the ground so you just use the front door which is what it was designed to be used yeah, yeah. I use the front door over here with the steps going up in there so this you know this was obviously designed as a shuttle bus or a, or a lift because it's got an actual step yeah this is where people came in and stepped up and inside it is a very nice high top and yeah, no, boy, you've uh, you've done a really good job already. This is very pleasant and comfortable, and the high top is so nice. I love it. So tell us uh, your layout here. Okay, right here on this side here, my refrigerator, obviously under here, little box fridge. Like a dorm fridge, one ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, up here, I wanted all this countertop. Over here is where the sink will be with the pump and everything underneath. Here's where I'll do my cooking. And then I'll probably put a little three pound propane underneath here. Mm -hmm. And then as you go down further, it's just more, more space. Countertop. Countertop. I'm a big fan of countertop. Yeah, I feel like I needed it for cutting while I'm cooking, for just putting junk up there if I wanted to, whatever I needed. So, this is the area where my uh, electric box is, my vents, uh, my entertainment area right here. Got to have TV. <laughs> it's on a swivel. Um, up here, I use this. I wanted little shelves just to put knickknacks in here. And then up here will be a wall of cabinets. Behind here is the insulation. It's the regular pink house insulation uh -huh. and then Reflectix. I know there's always debates about that so right. everybody has their own opinions but behind here is the Reflectix and the insulation. Um, it's fitted with 30 amp and it also has 12 volt. Um, along here will be LED lights that's why you see these wires hanging out here. And this will be to turn it on and off. This, now that I am a little older, maybe should have been bigger, but this is where I'm, I can tell what I'm charging, what Your I'm taking meter. away, yeah. And uh, circuit breakers, RV circuit breaker box. My charge controller. Looks uh, just a standard Renogy Wanderer. Right. But with the bed, I'm not sure. Some people cut their mattresses up. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. That is so unusual. It, you, it's a box in itself. Exactly. It's a really good design. And then, you know, throughout the van, there's the, you know, the well, that's little cigarette a, lighters. Mm -hmm. And here's one over here. Just different area. Mm -hmm. Just little touches. It's the little touches that really make a difference. Yeah. It, it's a very pleasant home. The, the wood is beautiful and feels good. It's very spacious. You've got a good organization started. Really nice. So far, so good. Yeah. I'm happy, very happy with it. Okay, on this side, beginning at this wall and back and all the way down to the bed. It's going to meet down at the bed down there will be a bench, an extra bed, 
and storage. It'll come out to the wall here and it'll be, you know, the average size, the back of the knee. This end over here at the door will be where my dog's um, bed will be. And then right next to it will be where the porta potty goes underneath the storage. And then it'll flip open in the back so that I can take the porta potty container out that side. And then all the rest of this will be storage. But what I wanted to do with that, I don't know what they're called, but they're little squares. Like cubes? Yeah, the little cubes, but they'll, they'll lift up and I'm gonna hook them on here. Oh yeah. And that'll be where my clothes will go in, right in here too. Mm -hmm. And then up here we have a very important detail. This should be, I think, 24 by 24 vent and emergency hatch. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do with this, or I should say my aunt is going to do, right along these edges, four sides, there'll be rivets and brackets and they'll swing in and out so that I can put my box fan up in here. Mm -hmm. It's my own fantastic fan. Right. Since I can't get one, I created one. <laughs> right. Since it's Fantastic fans are designed around a 14 by 14 opening. Yeah, and this, this is, is far much from bigger. It. Yeah, much bigger. And you're going to add solar. Absolutely. And you have you already have your panels and uh, a ladder rack, mm -hmm. and just a matter of time till they get put on. Yeah, and they were gifted to me too. It's always a good thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm very happy. We added these. They're all LED. There's one behind your head. And the panel is right here. Mm -hmm. Has a dimmer. Other than that, this is it. This is my home. And it's if, in the process. But if this is all you did, it would be very pleasant. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you're going to do more. I mean, there's yeah. more space you can use, and as you get to it, you'll you'll add it. Okay, a couple questions I always ask people because I, people will always ask me. Uh, how, are you, how do you shower when you live in a van? Well, um, for the most part, I have a gym membership. Mm -hmm. And that's how I shower. If I'm in a campground, I use their facilities, but gym membership. And how do you go to the bathroom? Well, until I get the porta potty, it's the bucket system for me. Right. It's been the bucket system for a long time now. It, it works. It really it's does. It's simple, it's basic, it works. Absolutely. Well, Carol, thank you so much for sharing your home. It really is nice. This is a great van, and for $2,400, that's a stunning deal. Just Absolutely. stunning. And, you know, you I'm sure you haven't got a whole lot invested in what you've done so far. Not what I thought I'd have. Not what I thought I'd have. Do you have a rough of. estimate on what you've spent in the conversion? So far, I mean, I know it's on the high end, but that includes the stuff for the roof because of the leaks and everything. Right. Like 1200 so maybe you've got 3600 certainly less than 4000 yeah in it so absolutely far. that's pretty years. stunning yeah and it's really nice looking very comfortable thank you yeah really, really and the high top just makes all the difference it's enough room for me uh -huh. <laughs> yeah i'm very happy with it yeah, yeah you know i'm very thankful for the people that helped me get this to where it is today the people that help give me things donate things you know yeah. the work everything so. Right. Well, good people, good things happen to good people. That's kind of the way it works. Well, Carol, thank you so much. I really appreciate your sharing your home and your life with us. Uh, everyone out there, thank you for watching. I hope you've gained something for it. You've gained some confidence that even in the worst things, in your worst circumstances, you'll be okay and you can get through. And I think Carol is just a perfect example of that. Thank you. Thank you. So until next time, why? Uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and never give up on your dreams. They can come true. They've come true for Carol, even in her dark hour. We'll talk to you next time.